co-workers discover the small pebble of shit that it placed in the water cooler. Boss gathers everyone together and says that he'll be firing the person involved in potentially taking legal action. He realized that there was a security camera pointing directly at the water cooler. It's only a matter of time before I'm found out. The small pebble of shit that I found at the water cooler. Why? Be me, 20 year old heterosexual guy. Lonely as fuck. Don't have friends because don't enjoy people's company. Still find it easy to socialize, just don't enjoy it. Really want a girlfriend. Like, really, really, really bad. Not even just sex, I'm just starved of affection. Problem is, I'm not the best looking guy. Not ugly, not chat either. No muscle tone, but not obese. 6'1", one, one over face. Always try to talk to girls, but it never really works. Past water today. Dress well, shower, haircut. Sue Cutie very clearly checking me out. Looking at me, hands on hair, eye contact. Decide not to talk to her as a sort of middle finger to all the girls that rejected me. My best friend quite possibly I rejected a girl that could maybe give me the love and affection I need in my life as some sort of an F you to the other gender. How does one overcome autism of this magnitude? Unironically though, I feel like if I stopped fapping for five times a week, I'd have some sexual craving to talk to her. I don't know. Help me. I have no one to talk to. Browsing Reddit. See generic boohoo depression meme. Caption reads something along the lines of, Would you take a thousand dollars but become ugly? Every single reply is, Haha, I'm already ugly. I reply, No, because I don't want to become ugly. 357 downvotes. The miserable brings down others. Go to Gold's. Doing my warm up routine of curls and butterflies. Entrance swings open. A literal fucking clown walks in. Like, not even some juggalo or joker cosplayer. An actual clown that you'd see at a carnival. He checks in and goes to the free weight section. Picks up two 20 pound dumbbells and starts fucking juggling them. Everyone stares in awe. One of the employees asks for him to please stop because he could hurt someone. He agrees and drops one on his foot. Starts screaming in a high pitched voice. Employee asks if he's okay. He lets out a chuckle, honks his nose, and takes off his size 19 shoe to reveal that he's fine. Employee sighs and tries to find the manager. By the time she comes back, the clown is on the squat rack, doing a 3 PL8 ATF raps. He notices her and the manager out of the corner of his eye and he smiles. His pants conveniently rip and he shits out three hacky sacks and a circus peanut. I fucking hate gym clowns. I just wish they would go away. Be me. Student. Have to present my project. 30 plus people in an online meeting. Start talking with my webcam off. Teacher says open web. Get anxious. Start mumble wrapping my project. Cute girl in my class texts me in a DM to tell me, It's gonna be okay, no? Take a deep breath. Anxiety intensifies. Keep mumble wrapping. Get decent mark. Cute classmate DM me again and tell me it was okay. And she thinks my shyness is cute. I think I'll pass out. Be me. Watch porn. She starts making fun of his dick size. Not into that. Skip. His dick was bigger than mine. Be me, end of 2019. Friend asked me for funny memes. Tell him to check around it. It's right up his alley. He loves it. Pandemic hits. He's home with his GF. He shows I read it. She gets into it too. She starts looking at relationship oriented subs. Relationship starts getting rocky. Says she's a lot colder, demanding, less thankful, etc. Says that she flips out when she has to split the bill. Turns that she's been frequenting female dating strategy. She breaks up with him. Says that she wants a high value man. Friend is heartbroken. Stays with me for a bit. Over the course of 2021, she gained a lot of weight. Been through multiple firm relationships. Overall, unpleasant to be around. Last thing you heard from a friend of hers is that she's a mod for FDS. Talking to a cutie boy on Discord. He lives an hour drive away. Agree to meet up next weekend. I haven't told him that I'm trans yet, but I'm sure he'll understand. I'm going on a few dates with him before I tell him. Discord. Don't worry, he'll be fine with it. Be second grade teacher. School is in low income, high crime neighborhood. One of my kids often gets picked up by his grandpa. Grandpa is an OG who used to be a gangbanger in the 80s. Spent some time in prison and got his shit together. He's big and scary looking, but super fucking nice. Leave the school after working late one day. Some dudes walk up to me and ask what the time is. 
I look down at my watch, and one of them sucker punches me. I try to fight back, but it's three on one. I get my watch, phone, and wallet taken. Next day, during dismissal. Student's grandpa notices bruises. Ask what the hell happened. Oh, I got jumped by some guys on my way home. He asked what they look like. I don't know, but I remember they drove away in a white Camaro. He nods and says okay. About a week later, the student comes back and hands me a plastic bag from his backpack. Inside is my phone, wallet, and watch. See a news report a few months later about a white Camaro found at the bottom of a nearby lake. I know it's still missing. Babysitting nephew, 11 years old, is doing remote school. Watch in for a bit. Teacher is like 15 minutes late. She's obviously high or hungover, is barely able to slur words that were written before. Looks like she just woke up and is still in a t-shirt and sweatpants. After a few minutes of listening, Nephew just puts on his headphones and starts playing Minecraft. I'm 28, no kids, and so I have no idea that this was happening, but have kids just not been going to school for the past two years? Be me. Work as a phone salesman. 95% of calls are old people. Nobody ever actually buys anything. Get paid per time spent on calls. Most old people are lonely and just want to talk. Talk to old people about how they walk to their plans for hours. Basically, everyone at my job just talks to old people for 12 hours a day. Even have regular callers that know us by names. They're supposed to advertise products, but I actually just talk to Grandma Lauren every day for 8 hours about how she used to live back in the day. She appears to forget what she said, repeats the same thing tens of times. My job is basically to register when Lauren made a pause in her speech and keeps saying, Very interesting. Keep going. Story time. Be me. Two years ago. Driving home from work because not neat. Went to get home quick because Amazon said my new Sonic game was delivered. Everything going fine until a car in front of me gets sideswiped, goes into a medium and rolls several times. I pull over and run over to her. Old woman inside. Alive but hurt. I open the door and pull her out. She's barely conscious but I check her out and she's not bleeding and probably not going to die. Other people get her, their cars and come over. I want to play Sonic, so I leave her with them, and then go home. Fast forward to two weeks ago. Be visiting super religious grandparents. They've got some super weird TV show on, where they interview people who've seen angels. One woman comes on. My first one is the woman I helped out in the car. She tells me the story of a handsome angel, who pulled her out of the car after a bad accident, and then disappeared. My first and I'm an angel. My first one to go called me handsome. Some friends I played games with used to call me a goblin due to my nose and small stature. Didn't see them for about three years. Started to work out since then. Got really buff. Saw them again yesterday. Now they call me the Hobgoblin. 17th birthday. The boys got tired of me being a virgin. They gave me a slant at our school 500 USD to fuck me. They lock us in a room together. I give her a hug and tell her, You're better than this. She cries and gives me a peck on the cheek. Crisis avoided and kept my virginity. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Gora.